can use the hose to suck the gas out of the tank. I have a can, too. Uh, let's do it. The can is half full. That should be enough. I'll pay Phil a social visit. He's been locked up down there for three days now. Whoa, jeez! Phil is dead. I can't tell how he died. Maybe it's my fault. Anyway, I locked him up and... Maybe he died from extreme hunger and thirst. But wait a second. I locked the cellar door when I left. And it was open when I came back. Someone must have been here in the meantime. The constable's convertible. <laughs> Equipped with regulation light and repair kit. I'm sure Zack won't mind if I borrow his repair kit. Hey. Where's that skinhead gone? Can I ask you something briefly? Hmm? Where's Spooner? He's taken the rest of the day off. I think the accident at the castle has taken it out of him. Poor guy. Do you have any idea where Matt went to? I didn't see him in the village. He was in the pub yesterday. But where is he today? Don't know. You could submit a missing persons report. In the next life, maybe. Constable, uh, do you know what I'm doing right now? I'm looking for demonic portals. They were built here before the Holy Ghost had even dared think of Jesus. Ah, yes. Well, happy hunting. Goodbye, Constable. Hmm. Doctor. What's troubling you, Adrian? It's been a while since I've had visions. Probably three days. What does that mean? I'd say it means that the medication is working well. It could also be that the emotional events of the last few days have suppressed the images of the past for the time being. Either way, we're making progress. You must have heard of the famous Gordon brothers, Marcus and Mordred. Marcus and Mordred? No, not that I would know. I mean the ones who built the castle, Blackmere Castle, 800 years ago. Oh, right, them. N no. What do they say about them? Have you seen them, Adrian? What did they tell you? So, <laughs> you really do think I'm crazy, right? No, no. I meant in your dreams. In your dreams. You said you knew Dr. Herman? Yes. 
He was a very extraordinary man. We met each other when we were students. It was a great time. <laughs> but I quickly realized that pathology wasn't really for me. Unlike Heinz, I was always much more interested in the living. You studied pathology? Amongst other things, yes. Are you surprised? Not really, no. <laughs> Apparently, my family had contact with the Vatican. That's not so surprising for such an old noble family, is it? This curse, it really exists. Adrian, you mustn't convince yourself of that kind of thing. I've officially lived in the castle since this morning, and we've just had our first death. A workman. That just can't be a coincidence. Oh. There are portals that I have to find. They're entrances to a mysterious place, which is maybe the cause of all the evil. What makes you think that? Who told you about that? Victoria. Just before she died. Maybe she was delirious. Maybe she didn't know what she was talking about. Adrian, I think it's problematic to believe in a place that's supposed to be responsible for something. You're just shifting it away from yourself. It's not a question of belief. This place is real. Hmm. Perhaps we should increase your dose from 60 to 90 milligrams. I really thought we'd need more progress. Catch you later. Take care. No, I think I should let Denise work in peace now. Later. I've asked all I want to know for the moment. Pretty heavy. Wow, this cleaner is really powerful. It's even removing the marble. Hmm, that was painted to look like marble. The statue's actually made of, uh, I bet it's some sort of local stone. Granite, maybe. I should have thought of that earlier. The statue is made out of the same stone as the other Meneas. And someone, at some point, carved a statue out of it. I've marked off all six minias. We'll see what I can find out with this. Strange. So a line from the foundation stone through a minia ends up at the hotel. There's absolutely no way I can imagine a portal being there. Maybe in the vicinity of the hotel. A 
A line from the Mania to the gateway ends in the middle of the woods. <sighs> it's gonna be fun trying to find the right place. And I think the way to the crossroads in the woods does lead in the right direction. I don't really want to roam around the woods until I've been to all the other places on my map. Hmm. A link to the church passes through a site of a manier. Maybe there's a portal there. I could ask the priest about it. Hmm. Huh. If you draw a line from the foundation stone through the site of the standing stone, you end up right by the academy. Even if I know that there's a portal buried under all this rubble, I'd never get to it. No one would. I'll make a note that I've checked out the academy. The line from the foundation stone through the greenhouse ends near a swamp. I ought to check the place out. According to my map, one of the portals could be down there. What's Bobby doing there? Hey Bobby, what are you doing there? Hello, D -D Darren! <laughs> It's D -D -D Denise's birthday today, <laughs> but uh, I haven't g got a present. And you want to catch her a fish? <laughs> no, no, no. I want to collect some mussels with pearls in them. I want to make a pretty pearl necklace for D -D Denise. Yeah. I see. Look, Bobby. Wouldn't that make a lovely present for Denise? Oh, it's p -p -p beautiful. You can have it. <laughs> Thanks to Darren. <laughs> Those are the waders that Bobby had on. With a huge hole in them. <laughs> Bobby must have ripped them when he rushed to take them off. A lovely place to get some deadly inspiration. You're not allowed to swim in there. This is something like a missing poster. Two boys disappeared here after taking a swim. It's suspected that they drowned, but their bodies were never found. Not exactly the bridge of trust. Oh great, I bet the portal's in the middle of the river. It's just a piece of flotsam with a raven sitting on it. Nothing unusual.
Finished. The bottle is now full of water, but I wouldn't drink it. There are four Mimirs in the river. That could be a pointer to the portal, but I can't get any closer. The repair kit is perfect, as if it was made to do this. Finished. Now I just need a clown's nose and some big shoes. They look exactly like the Meneas at the castle. I guess they mock something. Let's see. deeper here. There's something down there. Something dark. But I can't make it out exactly. Some diving goggles would be good. Or something so I can see underwater without having to dive. I'll take the waiters off. They're uncomfortable after a while. Hello, Father. Adrian, welcome to my church. Uh, Father Frederick, um, I found a letter here, a very old letter. Please have a good look at it. But it's from the Vatican. From Pope Innocent III himself. Do you know how valuable this is? You mean, if I auctioned it, I'd get a few bucks for it? Yes, a few suitcases full. But I didn't mean the material worth. Pope Innocent is regarded as the most important Pope of the Middle Ages. He called out the Fourth and Fifth Crusades and formulated the foundations of the Pontificate, which is still used today. If this is an original letter from Pope Innocent, then it's a very extraordinary document. A dictum of trust from the church to your family ancestors. You can be really proud of your family. Wow, that's the first time I've heard that. Until now, I always thought it was a rumor. But you've got it here in black and white. Your family has been personally chosen by the Pope to fulfill an important duty. Sounds more like they were damned by it to me. It's quite obvious that this duty outgrew them pretty quickly. We're all tested by God and it's a challenge for every one of us. But only steadfast faith can lead us through the darkness to the light in the end. Please have a closer look at the letter. It mentions a shade portal. Yes, that's true. One big one and five small ones. But I've never heard about them before. These five small ones probably mark the entrances that lead to the big one. The big one must be the shade portal that's described. Either way, I definitely think that one of the portals could be here under the church. Under the church? But that's not... But no, 
That really could be possible. Samuel visited Marcus's grave back then, and what can I say, it collapsed. It's been inaccessible since then. I was very saddened by the incident, but if you think about it, that kind of thing can only collapse. If there's a cavity underneath, bingo! But doesn't it say in the letter that the entrances have been sealed, so that no one could ever reach the big portal? And that the Gordons must make sure that it stays that way. Exactly. And I'm the last Gordon. After me, there's no one else to take care of it. That's why I've got to get rid of this whole thing for good. Thanks for the help. May the Lord be with you. Glass is loose. Huh, I'll take it with me. I'll leave him in peace for now. Fits perfectly. Now the bucket has a glass bottom. Interesting. And exactly what I thought. There are some steps leading into the bottom. Unfortunately, the river has flushed tons of gravel down the steps and blocked everything up. Almost the same problem as at the Academy. I've checked out three places and have found no entrance. <laughs> 